Okay, I'm sitting here with Carl, who's also called Big Daddy. That would be me. That would be you. <laughs> and I'm, I'm here, I know you a long time. We're neighbors in a way. Met you in the mountains, but we're neighbors. Mm -hmm. And we have something coming up this year. You have this block party on this little street in Patchog. I got that right? Little well, street. It was on a little street in Patchogue. Beats me. But we've uh, we've outgrown the block. Uh, the mayor from Patchogue, yes, you know, said this event is getting too big to be on the block, so he asked us to move it to the park in Patchogue, Feynman's Park, and we did that last year for the first time. And that's by the water. Yes, it's uh, it's right on the Great South Bay, just east of um, Shorefront Park, and this year will be our second year. Uh, doing it there, and uh, last year we won second best festival, yearly festival with the uh, Long Island Press. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that one. Yeah. yeah. And I even opened your event. Yes, you, you yeah. always open our yeah, I like that's my thing. <laughs> Short and sweet. So this year it's August 18th. 18th. And that's a Sunday? Yes. So we are Sunday, August 18th, and anybody could come up and drive in, not just open to a block, but to anybody. That's right. It's a public event. A Community pub. awareness. All right. Now, from what I gather, you've been focusing on having some local vendors and some of the major bands in the area. And this is the cool part, charities. Yes, it has. It evolved into that. At first, the, uh, the block fest uh, didn't include any in charities, but then as time went on, I getting involved with a lot of them, so I invited them out, and um, you know we get a we get anywhere from a dozen to almost two dozen of them to come out and share that share awareness of their groups. All right, so now you can go here, you can listen to music, and you there's a block house and even some food. Uh, this year we're going to have um, everybody's going to bring their own food. So it'll be like more like a picnic thing. Yeah. Okay, so if you come, bring food for yourself. <laughs> so I do mention that. And then the cool part is when you go to the tables, because I've done this, and I hope with the TV show to come in and talk to some of the vendors mm -hmm. as well as the charities, you get to find out about the, the charity and even the, the people behind it, how they got involved with the charity, how long the charity has been together, mm -hmm. and, and, and if you're, of course, if you're interested, you can do a donation, which is a tax whatever. Right. So, so give me an idea what kind of charities you got. You got help Zenbach raise $10 million? <laughs> no, no. We could do that at one point if we need to. <laughs> I'm only kidding, folks. I'm only kidding. <laughs> uh, the, some of the charities off the top of my head are uh, Contractors for Kids. They're an organization that uh, assists families of children with terminal illnesses. Also uh, NAMI, that's an organization uh, for uh, people with mental illness. Uh, we also have Animal Angel Animal Rescue. They're a local um, animal rescue group and also Save a Pet Animal Rescue. Uh, we also have the Lupus Alliance, uh, Long Island Blue Society, and Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. There's going to be more. There might have been a couple that I forgot. Um, we also have the Congregational Church in Patrog, which is a nonprofit organization that will be in attendance, and we're also going to be doing a food drive for them again. This is our third year doing a food drive. So we ask that everyone, you know, bring some non-perishable foods with you. Um, we're also running a contest. Whoever brings the most, we usually have some restaurant gift cards to give out for second, third place. Um, we've always done well with that, and the Congregational Church in Patchogue is very appreciative of us doing that. We also have the Patchogue Medford Robotics team that's going to be there with their robot, um, but they are also doing an e-waste recycle drive. So if you bring like your old TVs or your old stereos, they really shouldn't be put in the garbage. That's not the proper disposal. They'll have a, uh, a trailer on the property where we can all put those items. Uh, there's also a, a contest for who brings the most of those, and um, I'm sure there's going to be more to talk about as time goes on. Yeah, well, here's the amazing thing, Carl. 
you do this all. And this is not the only charity event you do. You do a lot of pet. I do. I get involved in a lot. We have a group that's called Act One's Brothers and Sisters, and we're a touring group that assists uh, ones of those who are less fortunate than we are. We have, you know, we have a fundraising team. It's it's really not just me anymore. There's about two dozen of us that work on these projects. There's no way I could do it by myself. And very appreciative of all the volunteers that do help. I don't know if you're going to have Frank Sinatra's alter ego there. Yes, so. Bobby Sinatra is on the uh, lineup. Additionally, you got some of the local bands. Now, you, before you mentioned to me a uh, Mr. Kerry Carney. Yes. He's doing, a, you know, a solo or a band or acoustic or. Uh, he'll bring. He's going to bring the band like he did yeah. last year. Okay. He's our headline. Uh, the headline. And uh, then your band's going to be there. Yeah, Big oh. Daddy and the Bulldogs will be playing. <laughs> we can't pass up that opportunity. Uh, yeah, no, you can't. You can't at all. And then we get, give me an idea who else is going to be in bands. See, the thing here is it's an outdoor event. It's a summer event. You go to one of these, you're going to want to go every year. It's kind of a lifestyle thing when you go to an event like this. You know, yeah. it marks the summer. It, it, it's a very laid back. There's a good vibe. Lots of love going on. Um, there was a, probably there was oh, it was about 450 people there this year. Uh, last year, this year we we're expecting more. Uh, as far as the bands go, I'm happy to mention that the Stanton Anderson band is on the lineup. Oh boy! <laughs> also, Sweet Susie and Sugar Fix, uh, Shades of Purple, their uh, Deep Purple tribute band, uh, Revel Nine, and. Um, bunch of uh, others that are on the in the acoustic tent. Zambach is going to be opening around 1130. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll be opening. Yeah. We'll be opening. We'll be opening. So you've got bands and, and charities and people and, and you have a master MC. Yes, we do. Who's that? Mr. October, Michael Davis. He does an excellent job. He's He does. He he's does. probably done it for about five years now and um, he's just incredible with he has his um, wireless microphone. He, he he goes in and speaks to all the organizations. We let them speak on the microphone for five minutes, talk about their organization. Um, Michael is just, uh, Mr. October, is just an incredible addition to the Blockfest. This I'm going to call him Mr. August. <laughs> 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 Only because we're talking August 18th. That's true. And, uh, well... I, I can't wait to go. This is going to be fun. Last year we had Ford Motors there, remember? Yeah. Uh, not exactly sure what everything unfolds. You know, it, uh, we listed on LongIsland.com, and that's how Ford Motors found us last year. Um, things will just start to take on a life of its own as we progress closer and closer, which we're not too far away. If you're at all capable of venturing into Long Island, Patchogue, Long Island. Um, this will be on the south shore of Long Island, right by the water. And when I say by the water, I am talking the water's edge. Yes. In fact, there's a festival that happens before it called the Great South Bay. So this is sort of behind the stage, in yeah. a way. Because there's a street, east street, yeah, it's a street east of it. I'd like to also mention that we're, and you might not know this, we're having a a special stage built for this event. No, I, th I thought we were looking for a stage. Yeah, we found one. Uh, it's, well, they're actually going to, they're bringing in a flatbed truck and they're going to build the stage on top of the truck. It's going to be 20 by 20, uh, skirts all the way around, and there'll be a 20 by 20 white tent on top of it. So we're excited about that. Where am I going to be? You're going to be playing with all the other musicians. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on the stage. <laughs> Not out in the water on a floating pier, <laughs> heading out in the, into the Great South Bay. <laughs> this, this is great. This is great. Well, I hope everybody comes down there, and uh, this is an event. And next year, it's so good, we're going to do it again. I want to thank you, Carl. You're welcome. I appreciate it. And that's our moment.